Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting function which can help you to solve many specific business use cases. Okay, and this particular question was actually asked by one of our friends, and he basically asked me this one. That is, can you please help on this? Do you know any way to find out all the tables used in a particular snowflake view? Okay. If you think these kind of scenarios we might face in our daily work whenever we do business analytics or big data engineering workloads in Snowflake, right? Maybe one particular view we received that is built by someone else and that view is not having updated data. Okay, if the view is not having updated data, that means the internal tables might not be updated. So you may be interested to get the list of all the tables used in that view. And now if the view query is very big, then it is kind of a very difficult job to get the table names, right? Now, if there is some easier way, that would be great for us in these kind of scenarios, right? And the good thing is in Snowflake, there is already a function existing which can help us in solving this particular requirement, okay? And that particular function is get object reference. This function basically return the list of objects that is specified object references. That is, suppose you are having a view internally within that particular view the data is getting generated from multiple tables or secured view or materialized view etc etc now if you want to get all the list then you can use this particular function how it is i am going to discuss in this particular video with a very simple demo okay so first what we are doing here we are basically creating a database ram okay if it is existing then we are replacing that and if i just move this particular part in the little bit upper side here you will see that database ramu is created okay now here suppose i am creating a view right and in snowflake sample data we are having a data with some nation okay and there is some data with region table we are just joining that based on the region key and we are filtering where region name is africa this particular sample data is available for all the accounts so you will be having no problem to execute this kind of select query okay so here we are creating a view in our this particular ramu database in public schema the view name is hello world okay so let's execute that here it is created now if i do select start from view uh, ramu.public.hello world here we will be getting the data and all the regions are belonging to africa because here in the view DDL here we have basically filtered based on region Africa right now suppose here you can easily see that in this particular view there are two base tables which is used one is nation table one is basically our region table okay now like that multiple tables can be used within your view query and that can be a very complex SQL query overall so to get the list of all the tables internally used within the view or whatever tables the view is referencing to get the list of all of those you can basically use get object reference function so see see let's start from table get object reference so get object reference is the table function so we have to use table keyword to get the data in select star format and here the parameter should be first you need to pass the database name within which your view is existing then you have to pass the schema name within which your view is existing in this database and finally you have to pass the view name okay and currently the get object reference basically return all the referred objects if the input is view here you cannot pass any table name or something here the object name should be view only that i will be showing you with the example also as of now if i execute this kind of query we should get back the referred objects which are basically one table nation table another one is region table okay so let's see that if i just do a select start here we are getting the data beautifully and if you see the database name schema name object name so this is basically for which view we are trying to find out the referred object okay here is the reference database that is our view is referencing some table right where those tables are present that database name where those tables are present that schema name and here is the table name okay like here you can see nation and region these two tables our view is referencing and here you will see in the last column that this is basically nothing but indicating reference object type so because our view is referencing two objects nation and region both are tables so we are getting a table table okay if suppose our view is referencing some other view then here reference object type we could get view also or materialized view depending on that okay right 
so i hope you understood easily we can find out that now let's see suppose our view is referencing some other view okay then whether it is working or not kind of recursive manner right so here already we are having this particular view see let's start from namu.public.hello world here we can see this view is referencing nation table and region table now what we are doing we are creating another view with the name hello world 123 okay and here in this particular base select query we are referring the view which we created earlier that is select start from ramu.public.hello world okay hello world is also a view and we are creating a view on top of existing view okay and one more filter condition we are putting when nation key is greater than equal to 14 like that okay so here what i will do i will create this particular view so if your view is referring another view then also this kind of function will work and return you all the objects which our view is referring okay so now if i just put hello world 123 in the object name and if i just execute this kind of query here you will see it is returning three rows okay first row here it is telling that our this particular view hello world 123 okay this one is referencing one view which is hello world which is obvious then the hello world is referring to different table nation and region so actually our hello world 123 this particular view also dependent on nation and region table right so we are getting the complete list one view two tables okay actually this particular hello world 123 view is directly dependent on hello world view and hello world view is dependent on nation and region so all the objects on which our this particular view is dependent we are getting the list and what are the types we can basically get with the last column like here you can see the hello world is basically a view nation and region is basically table okay as simple as that now suppose you are referring some materialized view then also this particular technique will work like for example i am creating a materialized view with the name hello world m okay and i am just taking nation key nation name nation region key nation comment from nation table and i am creating a materialized view and that materialized view i am joining with another table to create one view okay so here if you see create or replace view hello world one two three four five as select these these columns from hello world m where hello world m is basically nothing but a materialized view you can see here right and then we are doing inner join with region table so here we are basically working with inner join and inner join happening between one materialized view and one base table and that results it we are storing in a view with the name hello world one two three four five okay so if i just execute this kind of query and then if i refer basically this particular query select start from table hello world one two three four five that is basically this particular view which is generated with combination of our base table and materialized view then also we will be getting the result properly that means this particular code works with materialized view also that's what i want to show you okay so here you can see that here this particular view when we are trying to explore what are the dependencies for this particular view here we are getting three rows first row is basically one materialized view okay which is having the name hello world m and then there is nation table nation table is basically used in generation of the materialized view hello world n as we have seen and then there is region table with which the materialized view we are joining right so here it is working with materialized view also even if you want to know that for this particular materialized view what are the dependencies that also you can easily get like for example if i just put materialized view and if i just run here you will see that materialized view only created based on one particular base table so we are getting that particular table on which our materialized view is created which is our nation table right so if you see this particular materialized view is created on nation table as simple as that so here we can easily see that if our view is created with some tables or maybe with combination of, of some tables and some other views or maybe some materialized views and tables for all the cases we are getting the complete list of tables or objects on which our view is dependent even this will work on secured view also you can try okay now let's see some other way like for example suppose our view we are creating directly from an external stage or internal stage then whether it will return us the result set or not let's see okay so here what i did i created one bucket in our s3 location and i uploaded a setosa file information which is basically a subset of our id status set right and here what i am doing i am basically creating an external stage using user id password 
no worries i will be deleting this after the experiment but actually in production system you should not use user id password based authentication for creating external stage but rather you should basically use the role based authentication okay so that is fine this is just a poc we are doing so if i just do list comment on my external stage here you will see that it is basically listing our citrusa.csv file which is present in our external stage okay now i can query directly my external stage because i know there are six columns so here i can query and you can see because this is a csv file and first row is basically header so we are getting header as first row and then rest row contain the data that's fine we, with proper file format you can ignore the first row but as of now we are not doing that so here all i did i directly queried our external stage okay now suppose i am creating some view based on external stage directly like for example create a replace view ramu.public.hello world ext as select some columns we are selecting directly from external stage okay and then if i am basically creating this view and suppose i want to know what are the objects which our this particular view is referring okay using this particular comment which i used earlier then will it work let's see so if i execute here it is clearly throwing an error that object snow stage is a stage and stage is not supported as input or output of this function get object reference okay that is if your view is referring some external stage or maybe if your view is referring some udf user defined function then also this particular get object reference will not work it will throw an error okay just remember this if your view is using some other views materialized view secured view or some tables in number of tables then also no problem get object reference will give you the outcome all the dependencies it will be listing that's fine okay right i hope you understood this and the last case which i already discussed in the beginning that this particular get object reference function will return all the object which the view is referring you cannot basically pass in the object name any table and try to get the dependencies okay like for example here i am creating a table okay ramu.public.hello world tv1 and here i am basically creating the table by joining the nation table and region table based on the region key and filtering where region name is africa okay suppose i am creating this particular table and if i do select star from this particular table here i will get the data which is also perfectly fine okay now suppose i want to get all the dependencies for this particular table okay just we pass the table name here if i just run here it will throw error okay object ramu.public.hello world tv1 is not a view or has no reference okay so as of now this particular function can return all the dependencies if you are passing the object name as view not as table okay right and one more point which you have to remember if your view is directly referring some external stage or udf then also it will fail to give all the dependencies or all the objects which our view is referring okay right so this particular function can be useful whenever you need to know all the tables which your view is referring i hope this particular concept is clear to you might be in solving some specific business requirement this particular concept can help you so i thought to discuss this and to explore more about this particular function you can refer this particular documentation link which i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section okay this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe your channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all latest videos thank you